We're kind of in the time where a lot of new phones are coming out and I've been playing with a lot of them. And you know, the iPhone is my main phone. That's where my main SIM is. That's where I get pretty much everything done and you know, talk to friends and family. That's all in the iPhone. But I always carry an Android phone with me and that's always changing depending on you know what the latest phone is. And right now it's the Z Flip. This is an interesting phone. I mean, it folds, it flips. It's something we just haven't seen that much of before. The Z Flip is not a perfect phone, and I'm not even sure it's a phone I could recommend to most people, but it's a phone that I've really enjoyed using. It's one that I've just wanted to keep picking up, and I think it really just has to do with that folding. It's, it's not something that I have gotten over. It's still cool every single time when I get this phone and I can close it. I mean, that's just, it's just plain cool. But since this is my second phone, it's great that it folds up in such a small form factor. So whether, you know, I'm keeping it in my bag or if it's in my pocket, it's not taking up as much real estate as a normal phone would. And that's really why I switched to this as the phone I'm carrying with me over the Pixel 4. It's just the novelty of it. It's still just as useful, but I just, I just have fun with it. Every single time I open it, it, it just feels fun. And it does a lot of things really well, which is why this is my current Android phone. Real quick, before we get into what's on my phone, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers classes that let you continue your creative career without having to put your life on hold. You don't actually have to go anywhere, you can do it all right from home. And this lets you learn and get better, but still work around your busy schedule. Skillshare offers classes in design, photography, videography, business. I mean, anything you can really think of in the creative field, Skillshare has a class for you. And Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. There are plans starting from just $10 a month. But if you want to try Skillshare for yourself, check out the link down in the description. You'll get two months free. So you can take any classes you want in that time and just start learning. Now the setup is pretty simple. This is kind of what I do on all of my new Android devices. I install a launcher, I install an icon pack, and I arrange it in a certain way because since it's not my main phone, it's not what I'm you know, taking tons of phone calls on, I mainly am either getting work done or just browsing and enjoying the internet. So I have it set up in a particular way with particular apps. Now the first thing I did was install Nova Launcher. This is a tried and true launcher for Android. It works well. I was a little worried here on the Z Flip because you know it's a folding device so it works a little bit differently than your typical phone. But so far I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever with this launcher. It works perfectly just as it would on any other phone. But the main reason I really wanted a new launcher was for the icon pack and just the overall arrangement. I didn't want the dock. I wanted, you know, small icons. I actually don't mind Samsung skin really at all. I think One UI is pretty decent and it does pretty much everything I want it to do. It's just more that design element and you know if I'm gonna be carrying an Android phone around well I might as well take advantage of being able to customize it. So I have it arranged in this two column view and pretty much these are all the apps I really ever use on this phone and you know I, I do have more installed but these on the home screen are pretty much what I'm using all the time. I don't really care about having, you know, complicated widgets or anything like that. I want it simple. I want to get to the information I'm looking for, and this lets me do that really easily. Probably the only widget that I ever really use and install on pretty much every phone is the Google Clock. And this doesn't come pre-installed on every phone, so you'll have to go th get that from the Android Play Store, but I really like how simple the widget is. I get the date, I get the time, I can arrange it and have it very small, I can have it bigger. And you know, it's simple, it's kind of silly, it's the Google Clock, but I haven't found one that I've liked better. This is the one I continue to keep coming back to. Now with Nova Launcher, I've taken away the dock, I just use a swipe to get to the app drawer. I've changed the size of the icons and the grid layout so I can get this particular arrangement. Now I've also installed probably my favorite icon pack which is called Delta. This is available in the Play Store, you can install it through Nova Launcher. And I, I really like just the kind of uniform flat look that it gives to all the app icons. Luckily for most of the apps I use, there is an icon available, but I've found that even if you don't have one, for instance here I have Surfline which does not have an icon, you can't really tell. It blends in pretty well and you know it's subtle but it's just another nice little touch. Now as for apps, there's really two types that I have installed. I have the ones that I'm using you know for entertainment, so things like YouTube, and then I have things for work. 
since I'm carrying two phones, I figured I might as well try to make one of them kind of, you know, my work phone. And that's kind of what I've tried to do here. So I have apps like Trello and Slack that helps keep the job organized. I have Telegram, which is pretty much how we communicate. I have the YouTube Studio, which is probably one of my most used apps. I'm always in there checking stats for videos, seeing what could be done better, things like that. That app is great. And then I have, you know, the standard Instagram and Twitter. I actually like the stock Twitter app. I know third parties are kind of favored for a lot of things, but I haven't really had any problems with the third party Twitter app and it works fine for me. I also have Surfline here. That's something I check probably every morning or every evening. I just like to kind of keep up to date what the surf forecast is. I don't know why I check it so much, but I I'm always in there. Another really fun thing I have installed for the Z Flip in particular is a Game Boy emulator. This form factor is perfect for it. You can kind of fold it in half and play it as if it was a real Game Boy Advanced SP, which this very much looks like. It's more of a novelty, but you know, you can still play games here. The one I have installed is called Pizza Boy, which is an interesting name, but works well, it looks cool, and, and I love it. But that really is everything that's on my phone. It's not super flashy, it's not really complicated, I don't have a ton of stuff on the home screen, but it gives me everything that I need. And most importantly, it does it while I think looking good and just keeping everything at a finger's reach. 